Hello you dear programmers, welcome back in this tutorial. I hope you are doing great. So today we are going to make our ghost horror chair animation in which we are we will try to move our chair with some horror effect using Unity and as well without using any line of code. So just take a look what we are going to make. any time let's get start to make our horror chair animation so for this we need a chair you can see I have a chair in my scene view and a table also so I have mine but if you don't have yours then just go to the asset store here you can see so just type the chair here you can see Click on it, you can see you will be get a different type of chairs and the table and many more things. So just click on that like first one, click this and download and import. So I'm not going to download it again because I have mine so I'm going to cancel it so leave this now you can see we have a chair in our scene view if you don't know how you can add the chair or any object into the scene so just choose that object which you want to show in your scene so i'm going to choose my chair again here you can see and click on it and drag into the scene you can see I have a chair into my scene and change its position where you want to place in your scene. Resize it. So now you can see I have a chair in my scene view. Okay, so after this we have to make a chair, make an animation for the our chair. So for this we need a animation window and the animator window as well so choose the chair and here you can see we have the create button into the animation window click on it here you can see you have to give the name of your animation clip which we are going to make go to the property and transform and click on the position you can simply add animation clip into the animation window here you can see and click over here the near about the one and press to record your animation clip in this clip we are going to do nothing because we want the ideal chair animation in the idle chair animation we do not need to move anything into the scene hold it for minute and just again press to stop the recording of our animation now press play by clicking here As you can see nothing is happening into the uh, scene because we did nothing stop and click again over here now after this we want to create the chair move back and up animation clip so how can we do this so again just go to the property here go to the transform but actually for this we do not need to add any property because we have only remaining these two rotation and the scale 
but we don't want to resize its size or a rotation in our chair what we can do so just go to the here click on this changing position click on your this animation which you created and we want to we want that our chair go back side so for this we need to move its z axis position so here just go to so actually before adding any key into the your animation clip you have to click over this near about two timeline and go back to this animation clip which you created yet and here at the position z click and add the key here and now you have to choose this move tool for going back and again press to record your scene movement and just slowly go back side here you can see and again press to stop this press play you can see that our chair is going back side very good so stop this and again press over the three i guess yes this is the three and now i want that when our chair go back side now it's going up automatically so how can we do this we, again we need to change its position at the y axis for going upside so again go back this animation clip and now this time you have to change the position y so you have to click over here at the position y and click the add key you can see automatically added the key now again press to record and slowly drag your y axis upside again press to stop your animation recording again press now you can see it's going back and up ideal going back and up ideal going back and up so i guess we are doing great guys so again press over here now after this i want that when it goes up rotate automatically at this position so for this we have to choose the rotation so go to the add property go to the transform and choose the rotation you can see automatically added the rotation and click at the 5 this time and now choose this rotation tool and again press to record this click over this green line you can see this and drag it by clicking the left key of your mouse and just simply rotate you can see that this drag it right side by clicking your left key mouse you can see again press to stop and again press play ideal go back up and starting rotation you can see guys and i hope guys you noticed well we add all the animation idle back up and rotation in only one animation clip you can see there so this is the trick to add without any other key you can add more 
animation clip into the one animation clip so just again here just stop now click over there because we want that it's right position for making next animation clip now i want that when it's rotate when it it's completing its rotation then suddenly it's it will gone so how we can do this so i guess for this we need to create one more animation clip so for this just go to the click over this down arrow key and create a new clip and keep the name the lost chair animation i guess chair lost chair lost enter now okay so first go to the chair idle click over there now see it's now you can see it's the position of the archer is upside now i want that when archer at this position and complete its rotation then suddenly it will gone means we can't see where archer is gone so for this again just go back the lost chair animation clip and just press play and and tick this pause button when your chair is start rotating and pause okay now don't press don't click on this play just after this go to the animation and choose the chair lost here stick this near about the one at the thumb line and here at the property we need to reduce its scale so just click this plus and press to record this so when your chair is up and complete its rotation then i want that our chair will be suddenly gone lost so we can't see our chair now click here the at the center of the chair and click the left key of your mouse and just drag it the left side here you can see i'm reducing the size of the chair you can see our chair will be lost in the scene you can see guys now press to stop now just press play you can see a chair is lost here you can see in the scene view so here you can see in the animator window our animations clip are automatically added so you have to just click at the right click at the chair icon and make transition to the chair lost now go back and now you can see our chair go back up rotate and here it's gone but this lost chair animation is repeating so for this we have to create another ideal animation for our chair we have to create a new one so for this is create a new clip so after this just go to the create new clip and rename the chair lost idle animation so chair lost idle so when it's lost then you have to add the scaling property i guess because now we don't want that to 
increase the size of the archer so again just to the scale here and click over the one and just press to record we are going to do nothing Again, press play to stop and make transition to the chair lost and control and save your scene. So, this is it, guys. I hope you will understand what I tried to tell you. I hope you will like my video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial.